Hello to my subscribers. Welcome to my channel. My name is Robin. I'm a tarot reader and channeler. I channel Seventh Density Collective or Dimensional Collective, Anika Sanja. And in this week's message, we have three questions which I have separated and uh, timestamped. So you can go to the description box below to select your question if you're interested. All right. So the first question was to do with the difference, asking their opinion on the difference between unity consciousness and a hive mind. The second question was to do with when our when we've been told that we no longer really need to suffer and yet we're surrounded, our environment is surrounded by toxins and how do we address that? How do we deal with that? And the next question was asking about our reality in line with being a simulation and what does that really mean so here are your three questions for Anika Sanja I hope you enjoyed I hope you like it obviously you can subscribe uh, comment share if you do have any questions for Anika Sanja write them in the description box below um, we had a couple from uh, Julie which we'll be asking very soon and we will be uploading it and of course, if you're interested in a personal channeling session or tarot reading, you can book online on my website, robinstain.com. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful week further, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Love and colors our light. We are realizing that light is in the soul. When you ask within, we are laying glitch within you. Loving the sound of colors, elending the mind. You ask within sound, what is the difference now within unity and what you perceive of as a hive mind? Hive is associated to what you would deem of as bees or bugs or insects working with a collective endeavor or agenda to serve a shared goal. Unity consciousness is more in agreement with individuality marking itself fit and endurant for all despite what individuals choose. However, understand that the hive aspect has one particular frame of reference which must be abided by, whereas unity consciousness is more in agreement with differences and acceptance and love and endurance of those differences and working within unity of diversification. Thank you, Anita Sander. That was pretty precise yes. and concise. Thank you very much. Yes. Indeed it will. So understand that within these ideas that you express of as toxicity, yes, understand that there are but failings within your societal measures, yes, to do with certain purities within your environment, yes? So within these toxicity levels, the human body has adapted and agreed to infiltrate and filtrate to some degree, some measure, certain toxins within your experience. Understand that the body is very used to this sort of behavior, yes? Therefore, it is simply part of the process of the self-healing that it endeavors to do, yes? Therefore, it is simply functioning its program. Yes? yes, to allow this as an idea of suffering, yes, is to bear a certain definition upon it, deeming it as suffering because a body is carrying out its function. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> Therefore, to punish oneself with deeming it as a suffering yes. may cause oneself 
to exercise more pure measures with regards to what they can achieve as opposed to what is achieved for them from within the body. Yes, of course, one can create new measures to try and detoxify the physical temple and there are many spectrums within your society where you can choose to different arrangements within yes. this regards, yes? from that which is exposed to you beyond your control the body does function as best it can and we would highly celebrate the efforts endurance within this because you are highly intelligent and adept at doing this if one is also in agreement that they choose to self heal and cleanse the body we understand that there could be many people who do experience over limits of the toxicities thereby creating certain illnesses within the body however the body does filtrate this out what does aid certain illnesses is also an accomplishment combined from the emotional and mental facilities acting within the body spectrum understand that if the body was of itself its own entity it would carry out its function regardless without it developing into deep illness it is the emotional and mental qualities together with the physical qualities that could create a disease and therefore cause an element of suffering however to suffer is to allow it to carry your weight yes? yes yes does this understand within you yes thank you Anna Tassandra so basically uh, to maybe simplify it a little am I right in saying if we set an intention to overcome what we may deem as a failing in the outer environment would our body agree with that? Indeed it can, however to understand deep within where your intentions lie and where it derives from, yes? If one perceives the environment to be highly toxic, to create an intention to override this may be somewhat difficult. If the belief surrounding the idea of toxicity is too great yes all right so however we must just trust sorry yes sorry. indeed just trust indeed to trust that the body mechanisms is adept at working itself out and functioning how it has been designed to do to allow certain grievances to arise into the body and then be cleansed out through the body and also to be in mental and emotional acceptance of that aspect of the workings of your beingness yes, yes together with an intention may be suitable however to simply intend alone yes may not fully equip the emotional and psychological measures surrounding it. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. So, acceptance is actually stronger. Acceptance and trust in the process of the frequencies of the body. Yes. Yes. And to enable, disalarm your mind, yes, yes. that it is too overbearing. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Thank you. Yes. That. To get cross with the body for not focusing faster, yes, may be causing further delay. I see. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes. So, like within light, you're questioning this concept to do with simulation of reality. Yes. Understand that there are many various points of reality, many different dimensions and frequencies of reality. Yes? yes? What is real to you may not be real to the person next door of you. Yes. Therefore, we would say rather 
then that your reality is a state of awareness. Right. Therefore, your idea of simulation is to some degree associated to connotations to do with a design, a technological design, yes, mm. that has been put on you. Yes. However, consciousness and your reality is simply an awareness from a perspective. Therefore, the awareness can shift, meaning that a simulation, yes, mm -hmm. is usually perceived of as a technological device yes. that has been created for you, yes. yes, and to some degree there are many realities that are in creation have been designed, yes. but your awareness, your perspective of it can shift multiple times per second. Oh, right. Yes. Therefore, when one passes through the spiritual realm after being in the physical density of the human body, their awareness shifts into a vaster, wider awareness of reality. Do you understand? Therefore, we would choose not to use the word simulation mm -hmm. because to some degree it is efforted by the idea surrounding geometrical, mathematical and scientific equations yes. of a technological age. Mm -hmm. yes? yes? Understand all of these things do exist within creation, mm -hmm. yes? Simply different ports and portals of it. So, if you choose to see things within this regard as a simulation, then of course you could agree that when one passes over, it is another kind of simulation. But understand that those who make that creation of the all within the spiritual realm is, of course, the creator itself. Yes. Yes, whereas a simulation with regards to how human beings do perceive it sounds like the scientist creating it for you yes and control yes and if it is the creator it is in full control yes? yes but in a loving endeavor an opening endeavor therefore we would choose not to use the word simulation mm -hmm. but rather the awareness and where does your awareness take you now when you breathe your last breath as you do speak of within mm. the earth plane and move within more of the spiritual aspect, your awareness is all encompassing. Mm -hmm. Yes, therefore, your reality is far vaster, far greater yes. than what you currently perceive. Does this understand within you? Yes, it does. Yes. It makes one wonder why they want to come to Earth in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Earth Plateau is yes. a very exciting place to be. Yeah. Yes, so when one chooses to come into the Earth Plateau yes. for human experience, yes, they are doing what you would understand of as an obstacle course. Yes. yes? wishing to fill up more of their being with more knowledge and more experience to greater varying degrees of depth. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, therefore, to arrive into the human playing field, yes, is of high excitement, yes, mm -hmm. and to see it as an obstacle course for personal development and understanding in order that one could be of service to more in the greater schemes and shields of existence. Oh, I see. Yes. Well, thank you. There are many in your society who speak of the game of life. Yes. Yes. And how they are wishing to fulfill their own personal soul's journeys. Yes. And of course, this is correct. However, the higher perspective of this is to equip 
oneself, one's soul self, with the age, with the attributes, with the skill set, yes, the knowledge, the depth of compassion and emotionality, yes, mm. in order to serve the all. Sometimes emotionality can can feel uh, like um, a stumbling block. We would say that emotionality can sometimes feel as if one feels teared apart. Yes. Yes. It is very deep. Mm -hmm. And the only way to conceive of this depth of field is to push further and further and further in order to create the full velocity of the experience. The only way that one could feel the depth of this is to be in that state of amnesia, so to speak, is yes, to feel to some degree yes. disconnected. Yes. yes. Otherwise, you could not feel the full velocity of it because you would know that I am always connected. Yes. However, in your society, it has been said that you choose, yes, mm. to learn about a different kind of reality, yes, yes. without any further knowledge to see how deep you go, mm -hmm. yes.